Whoa, your pupils are so dilated right now. Are you in love with me? Quick, eat this and tell me if it tastes sweeter. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Seven crazy interesting facts about love. One, it kind of does make you blind. It's okay that my boo makes me pay for his Call of Duty headset and says hurtful things about me and cheats on me whenever we're not in the same room. Wait a minute. Ever wonder why you or your friend still hangs on to that bad relationship? Well, love doesn't make you literally blind because I don't think anyone will want to fall in love if that happened. But according to researchers, it does tend to make you overlook some of your partner's flaws. That's why it's always good to have a close friend or family member who isn't gaga over your bay to give their honest opinion. Two, it's addictive. Not as a face, you're addicted to love. No, seriously, you are. When you fall in love, your brain produces feel good chemicals that make you high on life. And once your brain feels that good, it kind of keeps Jones in to make those same chemicals in order to continue feeling that good. So you basically become addicted to being in love as well as falling in love. Isn't that adorable? Unless you become so addicted that you get all stalkery, which tends to take away from the whole adorable part. Just keep a healthy balance between chemistry and rationality and you could be high on life for life. Three, it makes life sweeter, literally. Aw, oh, my boo is just so sweet. And so is this lemon. Yep. Researchers found that people who thought about love before eating said their food tasted sweeter than those who don't think about love before digging in. Man, who knew that love could save you from so many cavities? Four, it makes your pupils pop. Weirdly enough, scientists have found that looking at someone you love can make your pupils dilate. Hello, boyfriend. Can you tell, are my pupils bigger? Scientists also found that people tend to view dilated pupils as more attractive which is totally the reason why I love Chris Hemsworth, Channing Tatum, and Ryan Gosling, because of dilated pupils. Five, it changes your heartbeat. This adorable video of two animals becoming best friends isn't the only thing that's gonna turn you into a mushy pile of awe. Listen to this. Research has found that when a couple has been together for a while, their hearts begin to beat at the same rate. So cute. So cute, so cute. Six, it makes you feel better. Sharing love with someone doesn't just make you feel good mentally, it can also do your body good. Sorry, Milk, but you just found a new rival. Research has found that, at least for women, touching their lover can actually reduce the feeling of pain. In fact, even seeing a picture of their partner can reduce physical pain. Headache gone. Seven, it comes from your brain, not your heart. When we're in love, our brains produce several happy hormones. One of them, dopamine, gives you the same ecstatic high as addictive drugs. Might as well have face it, you're addicted to love. Oh wait, we already covered that part. Another hormone your brain produces, called oxytocin, is commonly referred to as the bonding hormone because it helps you feel more attached to your partner. In other words, the phrase follow your heart should really be more like follow your brain and its corresponding hormones. Not really as catchy, is it? And there you go. You're now seven reasons closer to understanding why I can't help falling in love with you because chemically my brain doesn't give me much of a choice. Got a question about your body, love, sex, or relationships? Let me know in the comments and I could answer it next. Also, is there anyone specifically you wanna see on girl.com? Let me know, we can make it happen. I'm Cheyenne and you're on girl.com. Subscribe to our channel to continue hearing this voice. My boo is so sweet. And so is this love, <laughs> it's all over my face. Scientists have found that looking at someone you love can make your poop, can make your poop, okay. Man, who knew love could save you from so many chem chemicals? <laughs> you guys, I'm losing it. Oh. Here's your lemon. Yeah, that's right, I'm directing these things. Hi.